What up, family? It's your homeboy, Willie Mo Jr., Pretty Willie, P Dub. I guarantee you by the end of 09, you're going to call me Mr. Moore. Right now, I'm just hanging out. Uh, just got off the plane. I'm in the car, just on my way to the hotel. And I've been asked, man, to do some really good vlog spots, man, about like young people coming to, into the body of Christ, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to my man Bizzle for this great idea. And uh, what we did was we pretty much took a poll of this, you know, taking young people's emails and seeing what it is. So the first question that was ever posed to me, you know what I mean, me coming from, you know, lay your body down the four walls, the good things, and not just no record, Mississippi Shine feature in that banner. And really with my relationship with the Lord and bringing young people to the body of Christ. Uh, the first question that was posed to me was, what do I do? Being a young person trying to be a Christian amongst my friends who are not saved, who still do worldly things. Alright, I'm gonna take a crack at that one, you know what I mean? Uh, basically, what I can tell you, man, is that ultimately, man, the Lord is not trying to, to press you out and try to be something that you're not. Like, what the Lord really wants to do is concern what you have and enlarge your territory from where you are. It's been a lot of spiritual colloquialism and stuff that make people think that once you get saved and once you do this, I mean, you just all of a sudden don't have a desire to do some of the things that you used to do. Like, that's false. Like, I mean, somebody around this world might, you know, came in church, got it together, changed their life in one, you know, instant. I ain't met him yet, <laughs> but, you know, he or she may exist, and if you do, more power to you. But for most of us, it's a gradual process, man. So what you need to understand is that you now have power over your emotions. You, you now have authority over your emotions. You now have authority. You now have self-control. And that's the first thing that you're working on. So when you are around these people who really don't understand what you're doing, you are now called to be the light to the situation. Like right now, tonight, I got a club day. Me and Sammy, we got a club day going on. Of course, it was in high school, but of course, they're going to try to probably take me to somewhere where the older people are and we're going to hang out. But you just don't operate how they do. But if you're not strong enough to be in these situations, you got to allow yourself some time to grow in the Lord before you go back into some of these situations. Like for me personally, I've been in the club since I was 12, so when they try to offer me drinks and all the other stuff, I just simply say, bro, I don't really do that. I'm the only one I say it. I don't, you know, I don't really get down with it. You know, uh, you know, I had a smoking thing that I used to do, man, but, you know, even when I was smoking, I would tell them, like, I don't smoke no more. They'd be like, man, you smoking now? What you mean? I'd be like, nah, you don't understand. I'm growing into what I have to be. So my biggest thing for Christians who just not getting into the body of Christ, enjoy where you are, transparently grow, don't be hard on yourself, man. Lord don't mind you when you, you know, you know you're going to make mistakes because ultimately you were drawn to him anyway. So you didn't, you didn't make this decision like, okay, I'm just going to change my life today. The Lord put you in a situation where all you had was him and you were drawn to that situation. So he understood where, he, where you were when he called you, man. So enjoy yourself. I'm not the type of person who wants you to feel bad about some of the things you do. I want you to grow from where you are. And as you grow in your faith, as you grow in your faith, you will see that your walk becomes a lot more easier. You know what I mean? And some of the things that you used to want to do, you just don't want to do it no more. So, that was my crack at the question. And that's, that's just is what it is. Again, it's your homeboy, Willie Mo Jr. Pretty Willie P. Dub. We're going to kind of drop a few of these names, man, real soon. Be on the lookout for the new record, the Mississippi Shine. Uh, you know, it's Kingdom Music. Kingdom Music is the music. Young Flying Saved is the movie. Get it in. And, and uh, you know, don't think just because you get, you know, you, you find the Lord that you go broke, broke all of a sudden. Pan around, pan up the song. Yeah. Hold on, let's this part. We just watching the draft. We in the car, though. Look, look, that's that. We in the car, though. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Don't think you'll still get the stuff when you're in the kingdom. God always want to outdo himself. You heard me. Kingdom music. Young flying save is the move. Do this. Keep it up.